Hello, 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 my darlings. This is Tracy H. Very, and this is the Clean Fork. And what we do here is we listen to safari sounds, and we also talk about food and how we can be healthy and help our kids be healthy, our friends and family, all that jazz, and how really simple it is. Or for me, I wanna teach you how simple it is to be healthy. Um, with all the bad food that's out there, you know, everyone's confused and I want to make it the least confusing for you and give you no excuse to eat like shit because you know better. Okay. So to start off, what I want to talk about is, you know, I have people say, what is clean eating? We keep hearing about clean eating, clean eating. Well, first of all, I want to correct myself and I want to use the term now plant based eating. Okay. Clean eating is, is also what I'm doing and what my husband and I are. That, that's what we practice here at the house. But what plant-based eating is, okay, is focusing more on your, your fruits and your vegetables and avoiding or, or trying to eat as little or none of actual meat protein, okay? So you're trying to avoid the meat proteins. Obviously, you're going to get proteins from everything else, your fruits and your vegetables and your grains and all that kind of stuff. But trying to avoid that and eating smaller amounts, or if you can go vegetarian, great. We are not going to be going vegetarian but I'm gonna be cutting our portions even smaller than um, we have been eating, which like for example, we'll eat, each of us will have a half a chicken breast, we'll split it. I wanna go even farther and I'm gonna take that half a chicken breast and we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna chop it up and we're gonna throw it in a salad. And then we're gonna really fill up on our greens and our fruits and our healthy grains and things like that, okay? So again, um, what, what, is clean, what is clean eating? Okay, what is clean eating? Clean eating, plant-based eating, okay, whatever you want to call it, eating things that are from the earth, okay, things that are grown from the ground, things that are not in a box, okay, instant mashed potatoes, no bueno, not clean eating, okay, flour, using just white flour, no bueno, okay, not good, um, pasta, processed, okay, your canned a lot of your canned vegetables, try to avoid those because they're high in sodium. Clean eating, eating things that are from the earth, that are fresh, um, that is the best way to go. Okay, so first thing we talked about was what clean eating is. Eating from the earth, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, your lettuces, your tomatoes, your onions, you know, saute, saute those, throw them in the oven, boil them, do whatever the fuck you want. Just eat fresh things, okay? And avoid processed crap. Um, where can you get this stuff? Everywhere. Uh, it's not anything special. And so anybody that has, they're gluten-free or they have the celiacs, that they're, they, they can't eat dairy, they can't, well, guess what? Plant-based diets will not affect a gluten person, that, or a gluten allergy, will not affect some, because guess what, all the, the processed foods, sorry, all the processed foods have gluten in them, okay? So if you're eating a fucking piece of fruit, I don't think it's got gluten in it, does it? No, eat an apple. Don't buy some gluten-free crackers, you jackass, because it's so much fucking carbs. And if you know what's crazy is the people that are really all about gluten-free are fat because they're eating box shit that says gluten-free on it. Gluten-free pasta, gluten-free rice, gluten-free. How about you eat a fucking apple? Eat a head of lettuce, have a salad, okay? No gluten in there, but you instead you buy gluten-free crackers. No bueno. See, I do know Spanish. I know a little bit, okay? Anyways. So where can you get good food? Go to your public market, okay? If you're living in Rochester, New York, we have a fab, they had a fabulous public market. When I lived in New York City, we got tons of fresh food. I know it sounds crazy, but I would go to a market a block or two away from my house in fucking Ridgewood, Queens, and the produce was great, the pricing was great, and I'm on, a, you know, me, I'm psycho about deals. My husband, just buy food. He just, just buys food, he doesn't look at the prices. I think it's a guy thing. Me, I'm like, I'm obsessed with getting a deal. I don't care how much money I have in the bank. I want to get a good deal and I want to save money on everything. I just want, I, I love to penny pinch. I love to save money here and there. I get off on it. It's like my thing. So anyways, so you can get fresh fruit. Aldi's is my place now. I'm in Florida. I, I loved it in Ron. I was living in Rochester, New York. Now that I'm in Sanford, Lake Mary, Florida area. I love Aldi's. You got fresh produce. You can get organic stuff if you're all about organic. Me, I'm just trying to get you guys to eat fresh food, okay? I'm not even going to the organic stuff yet. Just eat an apple. Just go and buy some bananas or some, some fresh lettuce and, and make a salad or eat 
eat, you know, get some, you know, a piece of chicken and then saute some onions and peppers with it. Um, so anyways, where can you get this food? Pretty much anywhere you go. Okay. It's nothing special. There's no label on it. You're not, you know, there's no nutritional facts label because it's a fresh, you know, it's a fresh thing. Okay. All right. Okay. So when I talk about plant-based eating, I want to, you know, everyone's like, well, what's wrong with meat and what's wrong with dairy and blah, 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 blah. Okay. What's wrong with all that stuff? Okay. So I want to take you guys back to when we were like cavemen. Okay. And what did, if you ever went to school, remember how, when we went to school, they talked about hunters and gatherers, right? The children and the, the ladies and the elderly people, they would gather the roots and the berries and the blah, blah, blah. Okay. And the men would go and they would hunt the boar or the dinosaur. <laughs> Actually, I heard that they're like dinosaurs and people lived together like at the same time, supposedly. There was like a footprint of a dinosaur and a footprint of a human, like they found a fossil. I don't know. Anyways, so the guys would be the hunters, okay? And then the women would be the gatherers, all right? Well, act in actuality, you know, when they go hunt, it's like an all day thing. And then they bring home one thing of meat, right? And they all got to share it amongst the tribe. So there's only so much meat. But the majority of their diet was the fruits, the, the, le or the whatever, the greens and the fruits and the roots, berries, leaves, whatever the hell they ate back then in Cave Ben's time. Okay. So most of the things that they were eating were plant based with small portions of meat, but also the meat was different back then. See, she's excited about it. Um, I know, I know it's different now. Um, anyways, so the, <laughs> the meat back then wasn't shot up with fucking hormones. They weren't stuck in a cage. They weren't eating things they weren't supposed to eat. They were living in their natural habitat, eating what they're supposed to be eating. Okay. And not shoved with, you know, injected with hormones and all that other crap. Okay. So that's also the difference of them eating meat back then from now, because now you buy some chicken while well, they were shoved in a cage and they were shot up with hormones and all this other fucking shit. And then they're laying eggs that are shot up with horm, you know, cause if the, the chicken was shot up with hormones, well, guess what? The eggs are fucking garbage too. Okay. So uh, I think I lost my train of thought. So anyway, so you want to try to avoid that stuff. Me, I'm thinking, well, we're just going to eat less meat. It's going to be better. Well, now, ultimately, we want to lower our smaller, make our, our portion smaller, which we're going to be doing it in this house. But I'm also going to be spending more money. But the thing is, is I really won't be because we're going to be eating less meat. But when I do get beef, it's going to be grass-fed beef. When I get chickens, they're going to be free range. So they run free chickens. And the eggs are gonna be, you know, the free range eggs or whatever, okay? I'm gonna be really careful about where I'm getting my food. And in the future, I'm gonna have chickens. So I'm gonna know where they're fucking running. And I'm gonna know where they're, what they're eating because they're gonna be in my backyard. And my dogs are gonna be chasing them. They won't kill them, I don't think. But what I'm saying is, and then I'm gonna maybe get a goat. And then I'm gonna have my chickens lay eggs. And I'm gonna have a garden. I'm gonna know where all my fucking shit's coming from. But for now, I'm not there yet, okay? So, uh, anyways, so the meat and the dairy thing. Oh, the dairy thing. Hold on. I'm going to go. What okay. So the last thing I was talking about was what's the difference of eating or why, why not a lot of meat? Why shouldn't we eat a lot of meat? Well, because of what's in our meat nowadays, but also we don't need that much meat. You can get all the protein you need in your vegetables and your fruits. Like they say, like if you're a vegetarian, you're weak and you're like dying and you, you can't get all, you don't have all your, you need meat. No, you don't. You actually don't. You can get all the protein, all the vegetables, or all the, the vitamins and minerals you need on a plant-based diet. But I'm not asking you to quit meat because I'm not doing that yet, but we're going to a lot smaller portions. Okay, so anyways, so where am I going with dairy? Okay, so we're eating cheese. We're having, you know, creamer in our coffee, which I do every day, okay? Um, you got your milks, you got your, you know, all those dairy, all those things, right? So what's wrong with milk? Well, people are gonna have a problem with what I'm saying but the only animals on the earth right now that drink milk after they're done like weaning off their mom are us. Okay, because milk is made for babies. Like, do you drink fucking baby milk? I mean, I don't, that's weird. First of all, people are drinking my milk, that's just weird. Anyways, but we, you know, we're drinking cow milk, we're drinking whatever, t you know, mostly cow milk, which the cow milk is actually for baby cows. And it has all of this fat and all this shit in it, like all these things that we don't need because we're adults. Like you don't you don't drink baby milk like after you're a baby because you don't need it. 
So ultimately you should be avoiding it or use it, drinking it less, okay? I mean, I'm still gonna use creamer in my coffee. I still like cheese, but it's gonna be in moderation. So you should try to avoid it as much as you can. Um, so that's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's where I was going with dairy. Um, and I don't know what else I wanna talk about. So yeah, so I wanna to try to do a quick video and just saying plant-based eating is the best way to go. That To me, that is the ultimate thing, no matter what's wrong with you, whatever diseases you have, whatever fucking thing's wrong. If you're depressed or if you're fat or you have, you're, you're diabetic or you can't have gluten or you can't have dairy, or, you know, you're uh, lactose intolerant, like I said, or something, a plant-based diet will solve all of those problems for you. You do not need to buy some box thing that says gluten-free or no milk in this or, just don't drink milk and you'll be fine and you can have your vegetables and your fruits and you'll be just fine. If you're gluten-free, well you can eat apples and you can have lettuce and you can eat proteins that are, you can eat whatever, you know, you can be just fine, but you're not gonna be able to eat, you know, your processed breads and your rices and your pastas, but you shouldn't really be eating a lot of those anyways. So you'll be just fine, even if you're gluten-free. So you can't make any excuses, okay? Um, so I'm gonna let you guys go. This is the first video in a while. I wore lipstick. Cause I have all this lipstick and I'm like, I might as well put it on. Even though like I have this shitty like Labatt blue t-shirt on from like one of my beer tastings from like a thousand years ago, but I'm going to wear lipstick. Anyways, Nina says goodbye. Toodaloo. Eat clean and plant-based motherfucker.